Hello YouTuber. So today I'm gonna to be changing a master cylinder on a 2002 Honda Court two door sports. Okay, the problem with this car is was the brake pedal was soft and she complaining she missing brake fluid. So check all over, check all the wheels, all the line, there is no leaks. Okay, but when you come to the master cylinder I can see there is some line, some wet spot at the back there so I can tell that the the old one that the seal was leaking slowly and so before you change that you do some tests to make sure that that's the problem so you can check it by um, put your foot on the brake and the pedal gonna go down gradually that's one way you can check it okay so you decide now to change the master cylinder but there's some way that you could do it the easy way. So before you, so the master cylinder basically have two screws that bolted on the on the booster, okay. And you have the two brake line that goes there. One goes to the back, and then goes to the two individual wheel in the back, and then the other one goes in the front, and which with a splitter that goes to the front wheel left or right, okay. So when you remove the two lines first. If you're working at home or you're working on your garage, what you can do if you don't want to make a mess, you take one of these here, one of these, they come with the new, the new master cylinder, so you can, you have to bleed it. So what you do, you can disconnect one line, you put one of these inside the old master cylinder while on the car, okay? Because you have your reservoir here, it's going to be full of brake fluid. So you don't want all of this to run on your garage floor or on the street or wherever you, you're doing the job, okay? So you can take one of these lines while it's still on there. You put it here and you can get a bottle. Go in the car, you pump out all the fluid. So that way you're, gonna, you're not going to make a mess when you disconnect your brake line because all the fluid from the reservoir is going to be running out. And you're going to have a big bottle of brake fluid or anywhere, wherever you do the job. So you don't need that. So you put this hose, put a bottle, pump it out. The system is empty. So now you can go ahead and crack your liner. You can put a rag under there to catch the excess. You know, it's gonna be dripping. It's not gonna come out fully. You're gonna have little drip, but that wouldn't cause any mess, okay? You wouldn't mess up your garage, so. So when you finish that, you remove the two lines. You're gonna go remove the two 12 bolt here, 12 nuts, okay? Then you bring out the old one. And it's always good to clean it because this one was very dirty it was full of dirt inside and stuff like that you wash it out with hot water okay and then you blow it out if you don't have a blower you drain it out heat it you know like get the water out of it or whatever solvent you use to but i think hot water is good for it because brake fluid is something that you know it's hot water can clean it okay then what you're going to be doing to reinstall it Okay, so you have to use back the old reservoir anyway, so it's good to have some brake fluid. And you're gonna put it on the seal of the old one. Okay, so that's gonna help you for, you're gonna use like, uh, you know, you don't wanna use any other engine oil transmission or you don't wanna contaminate your brake system. Okay. And you put some at the back here too. Okay, and then you have to press it down firmly. We have press it down firmly. Okay. So when that's in, you have a screw to secure the bottle to the master cylinder. You're gonna put back some of screws, some of clip, depends on what car you're working on. You're gonna tight this down. Okay, when this one is tight down, what you're gonna be doing, you're gonna be filling this with oil to bleed it. So I'm gonna show you how to bleed it. You remember this stopper come with the, the master cylinder. Yeah, these don't come with a master cylinder, so you're gonna inst you're gonna put them here. Okay, 
Guys, you gotta be careful, it's plastic. You don't wanna damage the thread, okay? You, you turn it in. Not tight too much, just, uh, you just feel it, and then you put the other one here. Okay. So you're gonna take the two little holes that come with it. You're gonna force it on on the nipple here. Okay. Then you take the other end, you stick it in the in the reservoir. Okay. So when you stick that in the reservoir, you take the next one, it does the same thing with it. Okay, stick it in the reservoir. Okay. So now you have the two holes in the reservoir. You're gonna be filling this up with brake fluid. All right. So now and then you're gonna take uh, because this one is. See, this one is it has an extra tip here. So it's easy for you to bleed it. You can bleed it by hand when you're bleeding it, pump it. But this one doesn't have it. So you'll have to use yep, any kind of tool. You're gonna push it in here and then you pump it. You put it somewhere and then you pump it. When you have the fluid in here, the solid, the air is gonna come out in there and it's gonna be sucking back solid fluid. So that way, you're, the way, what you're trying to do basically is to get the air out of the system. You don't want air in there because if you install it without bleeding it, it's going to cost you a lot of work to, to bleed it. Because you have to do all the nipples. Sometimes when you install it like this, you bleed this properly, you don't have to go to the wheel. The system is well bleed, okay? So and there's a trick too, because when you disconnect the line, there is the fluid on top of the line gonna escape. So what happens, you're gonna have like an air, you're gonna miss an oil about two, three inches or depends down of the line. Let's say you're missing oil in a feet of the line, okay? So now that oil, the smart way to get that, that air out because there's no oil you have, obviously air gonna be taking the space where the oil is missing, right? So you don't need to bleed all of the system, you can bleed so when you connect the, the brake line, you pump it up and you get someone to help you to push the brake down and you bleed it from the master. So what happened, when the master pushing here, the, the packet of air that you have gonna try to force its way up because it's gonna go down because the, the back there is full of, the rest of the line is full of oil so it wouldn't get a chance to go there, it force itself way up because it's just at the tip of the pipe. So that's a smart way to bleed it. And if everything goes well, you don't have to bleed all four wheels. So if you still feel the brake is kind of soft, then what you have to do, you'll have to bleed all four of the wheels. But most time when you do it like that, you don't have to bleed the wheel, okay? So and the next thing too, you have to make sure that you clean your, your booster. Make sure you get like a sandpaper, you sand it around it, clean it up, put some oil on it, put some grease, whatever around there, because you need to, it's need to be sealed, okay? And if you don't have a seal, what's happened? You're not gonna have, uh, you're gonna be sucking vacuum. And your booster is not gonna work properly. Your brake is gonna be hard, right? Because the booster is there to make your pedal soft and you don't have to use too much effort of stopping your car. So if your booster is not working, you're gonna have to push a lot of pressure on the pedal and you're gonna have you're gonna complain or you're gonna have knee problem a couple of weeks right so basically you have to clean it up put some oil on it make sure you have a good seal that is not sucking air because the booster work with the vacuum of the car that's why when the car is stopped your brake pedal is hard and when the car starts your pedal go down and it's soft because it's work with a vacuum okay when it's pulling then the booster yeah, the booster basically is what doing most of the pressurizing of their your system because without the, the booster, you cannot push that pedal down, okay? So you need a solid, good seal there that's not sucking air. And if it's suck air, it's gonna affect your engine because your engine don't need any leaks, all right? So that's the problem. So 
hope that this video helped you to change your master cylinder and help you to um, give you a better understanding of what's work and what does not work you know so subscribe to my channel like and watch out for more interesting video okay bye